Hey, you guys. Okay, so there was a question about the difference between sun salutation A and sun salutation B. So the sun salutations are usually used for a warm up in some practices. Um, if you come to my classes, you'll notice that I sometimes use them as kind of a transition from seated to standing to kind of get the body moving a little bit more after a gentle warm up. Um, basically, the big differences between sun salutation A and sun salutation B, which are both vinyasas, which means we do a movement connected with the breath. So we do a movement on the inhale, we do a movement on the exhale. Next inhale, we move. Next exhale, we move. So you're constantly moving through that. Um, the sun salutation A is one down dog, one downward facing dog. And I'm going to demonstrate it for you here in a moment. And then the sun salutation B is a total of three down dogs. So in sun salutation A, we're warming up. Um, you know, we're doing a forward fold, we're warming up the hamstrings, we're warming up the shoulders, we are taking a five breath pause in down dog. And then when we come to sun salutation B, which a lot of a lot of the classes, you won't see that unless it's a it's really a vinyasa class, we usually just stick to A. Um, but if you are doing B, you'll notice that it begins with a chair pose, and it ends with a chair pose. And then there's two warriors in between one for each leg. And we take a five breath pause on that third down dog. So lots of moving, which means we're doing three chaturangas, three upward dogs, um, and I will show you it here. So we'll start with sun salutation A. Sun salutation A, oof, that's right. We're always beginning in mountain pose for A or B. So we begin in mountain pose or what we are Tadasana or what is also called Samasitihi, which is equal standing pose. You don't need to remember any of that. But for sun salutation A, we inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold. And of course you can bend your knees here. Inhale to look up or come halfway up. Lots of modifications we can do for this. So it might not look like the way I'm doing it for you. And then you exhale and step back coming into chaturanga. We inhale to either cobra or upward facing dog. And then we go back to downward facing dog. So this is where we would take the five breaths here, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully you're not breathing that quickly, but just an example. And then we inhale, step forward, exhale, fold once again. And then inhale, bring the arms all the way up and exhale back to where we started. Now, as you progress through the sun salutations, we do things like jump back, jump forward, um, because believe it or not, you might start at a place where you're using blocks or you're using your knees, but eventually you do start jumping. So I'll do sun salutation B. You start by bending the knees in chair pose. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. Here's where it also changes. Right leg forward. Inhale up. And then on the exhale, we go back down. Hey, Erica. Inhale up. Exhale back, other side. Inhale the right leg forward all the way up. And this is where we take our five breath break. Notice the differences from A to B. So one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, fold. And then we end with a chair. So bend the knees. Inhale up. And then exhale is standing. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. But I hope that helped.